25 new ones. All right, so let's get this thing online and see what's going on. Okay, good. So we don't know what the history is of this machine. Okay, the Wi-Fi's are not showing well, up. Well, I bought it new, of right. but we but the guys took it. Right. Uh, according to my big bear tech, they stripped right. everything off of it. Then yeah. they put stuff on it that were just black screen with just numbers and codes and stuff like that. Weird. It's weird. Yeah. And um, yeah, now this is empty. weird. I'm a little. Yeah, because they factory imaged it. So what we're looking at is what's probably, yeah, okay, well, so you're driving, so there's stuff on there. Well, yes, um, I took it to him and he downloaded it to stuff. I took yeah. it to, I had to take it to Century City. Manhattan Beach couldn't do it. They look, downloaded more stuff in Century City. I don't know why this is coming up and why I can't get rid of this. Right, well, let me see why, that's weird, it's not seeing all the networks it should be seen. That's correct. That's by weird. Net, by networks, you mean Gmail, Yahoo? No. no. So the Wi-Fi connections are from this office, you should be able to see like 15 of them. I'm not seeing any. So. What, what are networks? The Wi-Fi name. So uh, the names of, what's the name of your network at home? Oh. Yeah, that thing. That, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That kind of thing. Right. That's called an SSID. Let's see, why? That's really weird. That's really weird. Okay, so that's really weird. See, yeah, that's there's so not much I don't know. Yeah, that's not normal behavior. It should see 30 or so. Yes, of course. Of course. Other networks. That's, oh, is it just... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, okay good. By default, yeah, because I was going to say, uh, gee, we got Apple. I got Apple and that kind of thing. Okay, so. so my network should be in here. Let's get it online, and then that'll tell us a little bit more of the story. Okay, good. So, so that good. thing yes. that we just worried about, we can delete. Well, we don't in know our yet. Minds. I st yeah, in our minds. We still don't know what's going on, but yeah. No, we, we have a lot of things we don't right. know, but that one we don't have to worry about. Yes. Why the networks aren't there, because they're there. Yes. Okay, I'm going to try to track with you. That's all right. Which is not going to be easy for you or for me. Right, that's okay. Don't. I know it's flustering because you're in a state of an unknown. Yeah, and I've had to go through a lot because of this state of unknown. Yeah. And I'm 75, so I get, I get credit on a lot of different departments. Yeah, I, I play uh, techie to my parents, and uh, I try to be gentle. Yeah. So. Good. Okay, good. We're online. Good. Okay, so you've basically gone through the motions of since your computer was stolen, uh, deleted a bunch of old bank accounts. What other accounts do you think you might have addressed? Well, I haven't. Did you have a password for the uh, uh, people to get in that they might not have been able to get through? Yes. So the the password I had was... Uh, you don't need to say it. Well, it's gone now. Right. Well, what, what I'm concerned is when they wiped it clean, did they just wipe it clean because they couldn't get into your machine? And maybe there's a chance that they didn't really see any of your That's content? That's a possibility. Yeah. All right. Because I did have a lot of security, McPhee, and a lot of other things. So everything we see here has been restored from your iCloud account? Is that what I'm That's, seeing on your desktop? That's right. I Got think it. more things have, Yeah. If, but, the, but these have been restored. Right. Okay. So... And that's gone now. Right. And I mean, you don't have access to it. It's not technically gone. The account still exists. It's just not configured. That's correct. Got it. Okay. And so you need that reconfigured. Is that what you're saying? Well, uh, yes. Okay. I have a list of things here. Right. That, that are, some of them are like, oh, how read, boom, boom, boom. Is that you, a list of everything I need to know? That tech questions list? The bullets? Or numbers? Yeah. Yeah. These are things that I wrote down. Like I Got said, it. some of them. Share screen. What type of new laptop should I get? This thing, technically, you're fine for now. Use it until it dies. Uh, yeah, keep that. Give it to the grandkids. We'll set up. Good. Just what we've been talking about. Your email will reset up. The other email also. I'm not getting emails. To, uh, and um, Linda at base is loaded. Right. Okay. What, what's this passwords locked entry? Or what, what were you thinking when you noted that? Um, 
I, I, okay, let me just see if I can go to my password. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, Safari. Pa okay, that password's locked. Okay, so what was the password to get into that hardware? The well, pa try it, the password you used to log into the machine. Well, the old the old one's gone, but okay. there but the tech in Big Bear put this one in, 2022. How'd you end up getting the laptop back? The sheriff's caught the guy. Well, what like red-handed? Yeah. Well, no, not red-handed. He ca they came into the house. Um, at two o'clock in the morning, the house I rent the house. It's a right. it's a big fabulous house on the lake. Yeah. Um, and I rent it. But yeah. Whenever there's like a day or two that's empty, I go up there for repairs, and right. I had all these guys scheduled. Yeah. So, I go up there Saturday right after the guests leave. They, right. And Sunday night at two o'clock in the morning, I'm yeah. upstairs in bed. And I wake up and I hear voices. I'm so disoriented that I thought I was in Manhattan Beach because my little teeny apartment right. here is right yeah. on a walk street yeah. and I can hear people all the time. Right. So I thought, geez. And then I opened my eyes. Geez, I'm not in Manhattan Beach. I'm in Big Bear. Right. And there are people talking because these guys had a key right. f from one of the rental agencies that rents my house. Yeah. And I have a I had a camera at my doorbell. Yeah. And so later I saw, as as the sheriffs did, they boldly pulled up in front of the house, all black, expecting no one to be there. Right. I'm pretty sure an inside job with the, not by the owner or the key people there, but somebody in that company right. gave them a key. Yeah. They drove right up. Right. They scheduled no guest for this house. The person on the inside at this company would know that. Walked right up, unlocked the door, walk in, blah, blah, blah. But then they probably, right, they were there for four minutes in total. They probably right away saw somebody was there because they're on yeah. the dining room table is this and right. all my stuff around it, a big file box with all my important data for Big Bear House. Right. And by this time, they're figuring out someone's there, and I yell down from upstairs, hello! Right. At which time they grab this, my file box, wow. fly out the door, and later I see on my camera, right. but they dropped the key, which right. had this company's name on it. Right jump in their truck, back up, slam into the basketball pole, wow. and off they go. The sheriffs come, they go over the whole story, then um, they're, I kind of think they thought it was the biggest heist of the universe. Wow. They were so phenomenal. They came the next morning, they go up and down the street looking for cameras. Right. They have an exact time frame of when they pulled out of the driveway. Yeah. And there are cameras random cameras around the town of Big Bear Lake. Right. So, and it was pitch black that night, so the videos aren't great. Yeah. But enough that they can now identify the truck. Okay. And I don't have the story exactly right. They either parked in a bad place and they impounded it, or they were driving and the sheriff started following them and one yeah. guy jumped out and got away and another guy is now in jail. Right, wow. So that's the story. Wow, all right. And um, unless it's on some lower level, you know, my thought was, I was, I literally stood at the upstairs window and watched them drive off. I right. just couldn't kind of comprehend. I thought, did my repair guy or housekeeper leave something important and they came in to get it? Right. You know, I, I wasn't really thinking. There were other things they could have done, but I was safe and I'm, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But what has had to go down since then, because... At first, you know, I didn't know I'd ever get anything back. Yeah. Um, so I got new locks on the door. I had to go through every... Uh, are, you, are you telling me that your their manager had ultimately the key that got stolen and then that's where they... No, the manager of that of the rental place? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm absolutely... Not, not him okay, or so any... so they broke in. They didn't steal a key. 
to get in, right? No, no, they had a key in their hand and dropped it when they went running out. So they grabbed some key that was floating around the house? No, they grabbed some key that was in some place in that some, they got it from that company. Yes, yeah. From that company, they got it. And and to, to zero in on that a little bit more closely, Saturday morning, the guests that were in the house left at 10 o'clock in the morning with two keys with orange tags on them right. and took them to the rental place, gave it to them, right. okay? Yeah. And su- Sunday at 2 o'clock in the morning, yeah. one of those keys is on my driveway. Yeah. And Sunday afternoon, the sheriffs go to the rental place and say, give us all the keys you have for the Lombardo house. Right. They only had one. Wow. So there's no, I mean, you can't dispute this. Right. Somebody took that key from that rental company. That's that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I was asking. There's no dispute on that. Right. Uh, So it was sort of an inside job. That's what you would call an inside job. Right. But the company itself is, of course, trying to find out like crazy how they have it. Well, of course, because they're legally, if if they got the key from them, if the key was taken from them, then they're legally on the hook. Yes. Yeah. Right. So technically, uh, this you got back, but anything of real value that might have gone missing and that you weren't able to retrieve, those are the things you want to take a note of. Yeah. And this owner, who's my longtime friend. Yeah. You want water? Yes, I do. Thank sure. you very much. I get yeah. when I get upset like this, like the night that the sheriffs came. Yeah. I could barely talk. I was so right thirsty. Right. Um. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. Well, now, I, I was. I, I did. There was sort of method to that madness. I wanted to see what else they might have got that might be technically related. But the only technical jargon they got was the computer, right? Uh. Well. Th- they took this, bi- I had a big plastic file box right. with all the Big Bear papers in it. Yeah. And it was kind of messed up, and I thought they must have gone through, for example, and stolen Social Security numbers right. from there. Not only mine, but yeah. the, people that, um, the people that work for me. Right. Um, and it was a big jumbled mess, so I really thought that they had gone through everything. Yeah. But when I went back up there, because I left that Sunday afternoon on one hour sleep and drove to Apple to get a new laptop, but when I drove back up there the next day, what I realized was they had taken all my papers that were sitting around on my table. Yeah and grabbed them all, not knowing what could be important, and jammed them into the box. And the box is pretty full. So it made the box look like maybe it had been dumped out and put back. I mean, that could be your first idea. But the next day, the next morning when I'm back there, I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and I go through every single thing and I realize this stuff has really never been touched. Right. And they didn't really probably have much time. They left at 2 o'clock in the morning and they were apprehended and my, and my stuff got back by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe earlier. Right. So they went for the laptop thinking everything everybody has is there. Right. You know, and who wants to go through all these papers. So, so I don't think they got much from that. Yeah, all right. Okay, well. You're tracking. Yeah, I'm just <clears throat> thinking what they might have got. But it sounds like you're already on your foot. Uh, you're on it, already on it as far as your accounts and things. And any if this thing was totally wiped, it's probably a good thing because they weren't able to use this computer anyway. Yeah, this Until is... Until it was wiped. And so you got your stuff in the cloud because it was backed up. Linda at the Big Bear house. Okay, so this hadn't been backed up in a while then. Do you not use this thing terribly I often? use it every single day. Okay. And it was, and, Do you have oh, more than one iCloud account? Yes. Okay, could there be that content in the other account? Y- yes, do but I thought different? Apple got that. Okay, well, okay, so do you use the same Apple account on your phone as you do this laptop? 
Yes. Okay. So do you have the Files app on the uh, phone? Let's just do that. Yeah. I want to. Wait. See. Let me just see what my daughter I wanna, says. I want I want to see if you bothered to use the cloud to okay. back up, genuinely speaking, the the whole hard drive. That's right. I I I do fairly frequently plug it in. Oh oh oh. Yeah. And have a goober jigger. So you have a hard drive, a USB drive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I forgot all about that. Okay. So when's the last if time I, that was plugged in? Well, within the month. Okay. So do you know if you were using what's called Time Machine? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Because Time Machine is what backs up. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this account here doesn't see much. Um, so this is the content of that folder. So you didn't have the checkbox that backs up the desktop content, the documents folder, the downloads folder, because it all says it's all zeroed out. So, I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, so what I'm looking at is what would have been what's in the cloud from this laptop had yeah. you checked a box that said back it up to the cloud. So I'm curious what account you did retrieve this data that we're staring at from. Go ahead and log in. I want to compare what account this is. Let's see here. Go to um, settings. Yeah, okay, so now go to the iCloud icon up top where it says Apple ID, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, um, Okay. so this right now looks like it is checked. Let me see what account that is here. So that Gmail email. So let's see if settings, where's the settings here? Okay, so right now that box is checked, but we don't know if it was, although we do see that you have a fair amount of data. And the only two Apple devices you have are the phone and the laptop. And that thing that I plug in to yeah, back up, yeah, you're, which I should have brought. Probably, yeah. Um, but the problem is the, the Files app is not showing anything in it. That's confusing. Let's see here. Ah, no, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, so now stuff's starting to show up. That's weird. Yeah, it's sort of like sometimes it shows up. Yeah. Like sometimes my emails download. Right. And the next thing I know, they stop downloading. Okay, so we have very little in this folder. That's weird. Okay, browse. I, oh, iCloud Drive. Recents, yeah, see, why is it all zeroed out? Oh, uh, that's weird. Okay, the Files app is not showing us everything. That's weird. So you clearly, can you go through the computer and see what stuff is on here that you might be, I wanna see what's missing versus not. Can you kind of go through there? That's the more difficult part of what do you, What do you mean? I don't know what you mean go through. <laughs> you obviously have a lot of stuff that was retrieved. Yeah. I'm trying to see how recent it might be. So this was there more stuff on your desktop before? Uh, well, not on my desktop. What, what do you think, uh, at a glance, what data do you think you're missing? Just your email? Um. Well, it's not j okay. Here, let me give you an ex another example of something. Yeah. If I go to Safari here. Yeah. Uh, no, that I meant. I didn't mean that. I, if I go to Finder here, and um, let's say, uh, I, where's my list here? Let's say I. Well, let me just try this one. Okay, I got that one. Some of these I click on and it says... Uh, what? Okay, those are just PDFs. Yes, but sometimes I click on them. Let me find one. And... Um, okay, so you don't have Microsoft Office installed, so these docx's are not going to open until that happens. So that needs to, that's something we need to do. You have Microsoft Office, right? To do Word documents and things? Yes. Okay, it's not per currently installed because this machine was wiped, okay. which included erasing Office. 
Okay. So we have to do that. Okay. So that's part of what I'm seeing here. Okay. That's why these icons look broken. Yeah. Because the programs you use to create that content is missing. Okay. So we can install Office and figure out what else needs to be installed. Okay. Good. Okay. So that's something we can figure out. Um, do you know how you're paying for it, 365? Do you know? Let's do this. Let's log in your Microsoft account. So now we're getting somewhere. All right, go to Microsoft.com and try to log in. Do you know if you were using Outlook to read your mail, or was it Mac Mail? I think Outlook sounds okay, good. right. So good, keep going. Try to log into the uh, Microsoft web page. I, I don't know what to do. That's all right. Oh, get rid of that menu in the right-hand corner. It's blocking you. That thing, yeah. Good. Uh, Microsoft.com, scroll. Oh, they're trying to sell us stuff. Let me see here. Oh, they're so desperate to sell us. Oh, there. Sign in there. So whether you need, try to sign in your email. You don't necessarily know what your Microsoft is. So uh, it can be your Gmail email. It not necessarily is, but it probably is. Well, yeah, I don't know that it would be anything else would be odd. Right. Good. So now type your password. You might know it. It might be your email that logs, it might be the password you log into your email with, or it might be something else. This is your Microsoft. Can I look and see? You can try. How do you document your passwords normally? Uh, by this Safari. Okay. Uh, it it just does it. I, I, uh, yeah. Okay. So that's not the same. Okay. Go ahead and try to log in that. Yeah. Your keychain. Okay. Good. And this is Microsoft. Yes. Live. So it looks like you have two accounts. So you have a Microsoft account at the uh, Big Bear house. Yeah. And then um, yeah. And so is that that? Because it, it looked like you just tried to log in with your Gmail. Yes, I did. So you have two emails. Well, wait, uh, maybe it's, th this would be my, I'm going to try this one with my phone number. Okay. Well, my point is, it looks like you have two accounts, one of which paid for Office See, and the here's, other one didn't. See, here's ARC for Microsoft. This right. is most likely my password. Okay, well, my point is, you've got two accounts, one of which has a history of that Microsoft Office purchase. Okay. So you're going to log in, and you might not see the history of that purchase, and then you log out, log into the other one, and then you will see the history. Okay, so, so you I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I understand why that's confusing, but at some point you accidentally created two accounts. Yeah. The second one isn't necessarily needed, or the first one isn't needed. One of them has, you're more married to than the other. Right, and it would be the one related to Lombardo.Linda. So okay. I'm going to close this and put in that password. Yeah, that, what we care about at this point, just try to log in. We want to see if you have a history okay. of the office purchase. Do you get transacted every year, every month, or yeah, either either every year or every month? Chris, I don't know. It's all right. That's my job to prod. I have to. Your account is incorrect. If you okay. don't remember your password, reset. Go ahead. And you can either reset the password, or you can tr lo uh, try to log in using the Big Bear email. And it doesn't matter. Well, we don't know yet. We We're going to have to do both, right? Either one, because one of them might be just you've never really touched it. All right, so let's go try the other one. Or you can reset this password. Yes. All right, you tell me. Let's go ahead and try the other one. Okay. So then, then we're gonna just go hit the back button right here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Try and type your Gmail, your Big Bear email. Yeah. If you can't log into either one, then we're gonna have to start resetting passwords. It, it, I'll bet money it's not, there's nothing on this. Okay, so we know it's an active account. Otherwise, we I'll try, go. I'm going to try the same password, okay? Yeah. Okay, so you didn't type that one either. So now we have to start resetting passwords. Okay. Let's go through the motions of resetting this password. Um, just hit this blue link where it says right. reset password. Okay, fine. I may want to wipe. Uh, I I may want to wipe out the Big Bear House. Is that right? Well, we all we're doing is a relatively minor thing. You have you pay for Microsoft Office. It's tied to one of those two accounts. Okay, good. All yeah. right, get code. So your family also could be using the same account if you set it up that way. Uh. It's all right. Okay. Um, 
verify. I'm waiting for a code, but enter code. Oh, it sent it to that email. Check that email. Oh, well, that's the problem. I can't get that. Well, maybe I can. Let me try it on here. I. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah here, it sent, you have the Big Bear email access there. That. Okay. Type that that number. Oh, where to go? Here it is. Yeah. Okay, create a new password. Okay, this is a Microsoft password yes, for the Big Bear yes. email account. No, not, not the e See, that's why it's confusing. Your email that you're just typed is called a placeholder. It's actually a Microsoft account. It's not checking your email. It's logging into Microsoft.com. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to create a new password. Right. Re-enter password. Good. Sign yeah. in. Now go ahead and sign in and let's okay, see Okay, but I have history. to write that down. Okay. All right, save password. Now sure. it's saved in the cloud right. or in that thing. Okay, so how do you normally maintain your passwords? Just in that keychain thing? Yes, you but recently go? I've been writing right. them down got like a, yeah, got in it. the last five days Here, like an write idiot. That down on this? Yes, I do. All right. Do you have a pen, yeah. please? Yeah. I have one in my purse if you don't. Know. No, it's true. You guys don't have pens. Yeah, I have a pile of them. I just moved in a month ago, so I'm still creating order. That's a good thing. Order yeah. is a very high priority, yes. high sanity thing. Yes. So I'm going to go get a pen out of my purse. Uh -oh. Okay. That's it. All okay. Right. Okay, it says sign in, yeah. email, so I can put my phone number in, right? No, or, okay, no. well, type that in Big Bear email. Okay. And then you just reset it to the start over. Okay, so you already maintain your own passwords. Just hit no thanks. Okay, good. May I see? There. So we're going to go click on that Microsoft account link. Ugh, annoying. Go ahead and type your email again. Yep, next, blue. Good, that was annoying, good. So, it looks like your office has been expired. So we can either purchase it again through this account or we can try to log into the other account and see if it's current over there. Uh, let's log into this one. Well, I mean log in, not into this one, the other, the other one. one. yeah. Because okay. we're probably, I think I'm gonna dismantle this whole thing. I don't. Got it. I want to have. Yeah, because you probably changed out your number, a lot of all your credit cards and all that. No, not credit cards. Just checking account. Got um, it. Uh, but you see, my plan in the future, and I'm not that you care, but I'm just, or that not that it's relevant, perhaps. But I was keeping all of my Big Bear rental information on the email, the Big Bear account. Yeah. Okay and my personal Lombardo.Linda, okay? Yeah. But I don't like what I You think. want to terminate that email. You want to terminate the that, account that's tied that, to it. Right, yeah. and create, and this is what I, all, is a kind of an important thing for me for functioning efficiently yeah. in the future, right. is to create a second email account, which is just Linda dot the Big Bear House. But yeah, terminating all the accounts that are tied to this situation is just frustrating, so yeah. 
Well, thank you. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. You're not the first. I've had to have people come in all frantic and an anxious because of the violation. I get it. So you got to figure out what was violated, basically. Shut, log into your Gmail. Microsoft Can we account. shut this down right now, or well, we could, let's or get, would that inhibit it, no, us let's in the just, future? Let's All stay right. on track instead okay, of we'll spreading ourselves too many we'll, directions. We'll stay on track. Okay, what do in, I do? Type your Gmail email. We're logging into Microsoft.com again. I logged in. Password. Mm -hmm. Is it the same password? No, because we don't know it. We already know we got re rejected. Shall I? You're going to reset it, so you're going to okay. click that forgot password. Good, I, good, good. Code is coming. And now this will be coming to my Gmail account. Mm -hmm. And then they're a little slow on the uptake. Wouldn't it be? Oh, I didn't press get code. That's all right. Okay. Uh, get code. What is is? Oh, get rid of it. Just click up here. Yeah. Good. Now type the code you just got in the email. Okay. Oh, I didn't get it yet. Um. Oh, did you hit the get code? No, I didn't get code. Uh, oh, there here it is. is. Here it is. is. Okay. Hi, this is Chris. Hi, this is Chris. Yes. Good. All right, I'm here. Yes. So yeah. Hi. So yeah, go ahead and go through that motion. Good. Put dates, today's date on all okay. this too, just so you know. Today's date and maybe is... Maybe if you want to put some sort of note that references who you were with and where you were. Okay. Because a year from now you're not going to remember exactly. Right. That's correct. To where? Maybe if you want to put my phone number so you can get yes, some sort I of... Yes, I do. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Yeah. You're right and there. your phone put number, number is? Right, 855. Four three four, eight seven eight seven. Chris, and you are guru, right? South Bay Tech guru. South Bay Tech guru, my new favorite person in the world. I try. Besides you, TikTok. Tater tot. Tater tot yeah. TikTok. Sign in. Okay. So go ahead Set and go through the motions answer. of typing that email again. This one. Yes. I wanted to make sure that was correct. Now type, now get rid of that and then type the password you just reset. Share update. There. Stay signed in. Sure. Doesn't matter. Okay. Don't, okay. It doesn't matter. Don't need that because you're already maintaining your passwords elsewhere. Good. So now we're, let's just see what sort of history we have. Log in one more time. To the Big Bear House. No, the Gmail. You just did the Gmail. Okay, so. Right. Good. Next. Yes. Now you just reset that password. It's probably going to ask. Oh, no, we're already in. Good. Okay, so now let's see what our history is. We go. Oh, here we go. Services and subscriptions. Doesn't look like this one has. Let's go. Order history. Okay, it's within the last three months, nothing, all available. No purchases. So it doesn't look like this account has a history of office. Do you know offhand how many cards you make online purchases with? Because uh. Microsoft wants to charge for office, what I'm speaking of, they should have been charging you either $70 or $100 a year or six or ten dollars a month 
you do those transactions look familiar on one of your cards? Say it again, those last either number six, amount? Or either six ninety nine, nine ninety nine, or ninety nine once a year. For this was what we're looking for. I, I couldn't tell you, you ninety nine once a year. So okay, you don't you stick with one credit card for all online purchases? Uh well, yes, but the credit card I have right now had fraud on it a few months ago. So, Got it. so now I have a new one right now. Got it. Uh, sometimes if I have fraud, then I use the Do you have American any? Express. Okay, so is the American Express untouched and still more senior than any other card you have? Is the card not yes. modified? So do you think you can check your account and see if you have any transactions within the last year of $99? Why do I want to do that? Would you Okay, so you need Microsoft Office to get access to the, your documents you created. Yes. You need to pay for it or log in with the account that paid for it. It doesn't look like you have a history of purchases. Yeah, so I sh so we should... We could just purchase it, yes. Yeah, that's the point. How many computers do you have in the family? Me, one. Just you? Okay, then $70 a month gets you 365 plus a cloud backup of a terabyte. You're already using the cloud account, but... Um, I want it. $70 a year, yes. Can I go get my yeah. credit card yes. and do it? sure. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Because that's going to get you your Microsoft Office Outlook back. All right, I think spreading my legs like that is not fun anymore. Uh, now, uh... Maybe I'll just uh, put this on American Express. All right. So now we're going to go services and subscriptions, which is exactly what this is. We're going to just, we don't want to try. We just want it. Let's just do buy now. Yeah. We don't need the $99. We just want the 70 Where is it? There we go. Buy now. So that's just for this one machine. So for security, they want you to sign it too. In Lombardo dot Linda. Got it. Good. Just make a mental note or write it down so that you don't get, so we don't end up having this conversation again with the same two accounts. Well, we're going to get rid of this okay. account, so Got I'm it. not even going to think about that So account. this is the Gmail email we're signed into, right? Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Go ahead and give it your numbers, your private numbers. American Express. You're not, it doesn't look like you're typing. That's why I was. Oh, for crying out loud. Sorry. Uh, well, I can just put this, no, not on auto because it's not the right. Right. Anyway. You can do a monthly or an annual transaction. So it's going to be four digits. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, they go back and forth recently. I don't know why American Express uses four security code digits. On the front, yeah. Yeah, versus you know, all the other providers, the three. You put uh, credit locks on your, your credit card and all, and all the, uh, the um, credit bureaus, I mean? No. no I don't know that I do. All right. Well, because it's free and easy. I can show you how to do that, okay. too. And if you know you're not applying for any loans in the near time future, no, you just lock them up so that if anything happens, you can't, like you can't even have your check, your credit checked, until you uncheck that box. Okay. So that's yeah, something that, worth I want to do that. Everyone should do it, but mo most people don't even think about it, even if you're not a victim of this sort of crime. Yeah. Because if you're not applying for any loans, there's no reason anyone needs to check your credit. Right. Yeah. So I can show you how to do that through Good. the computer. You just create accounts with Experian. Um, yeah, somebody yeah. just the other day said, 
go to Experian and yeah. do this. Yeah, you gotta and do to all three of the unions, yeah. Oh, okay, good. good. Subscribe. So this allows us to install Office on your Apple, reinstall your emails into Microsoft Outlook, then you'll be a little bit more closer to how you work. God, Chris, Sorry. are you married? <laughs> <laughs> Not you right like now. older women? <laughs> <laughs> Men just don't understand how valuable older well, women can be. So many of my clients are across the gamut, the the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the age gamut. So yeah. I try not to beat anyone up. So hit the Install Premium Office apps, that link there. Close this window, that's an ad. Now we're going to click this blue button that says Install Office. Uh, all these ads, that's just an ad. Click that again. Oh, that's annoying. They changed the way this works. May I see the mouse? Oh, <laughs> maybe change. Yeah, it didn't okay. used to be that icon. Okay. There we are. So we're going to download it. Good. Download it. So we're it. waiting on it to download. Okay. And then once this happens, you're going to get this includes Microsoft Office, Microsoft Outlook, Word, okay. Excel, um, PowerPoint, OneNote. Microsoft Office installed. You did the $70 transaction? Seventy dollars. We'll call or sixty nine ninety nine. We'll call it sixty nine ninety nine. That's exactly what it will yeah. be on your card. Yeah, Amex. Yeah, put today's date and, and then put in parentheses Microsoft. Okay, good. Oh, okay, so yeah. Office. So what I'm basically getting at is that what you really want is an IT folder so that you have this to reference at any point in the future. An IT folder, yeah. a folder for this uh, documenting yes. what I do. Yes. On. In my IT yes, world. Yes, yes. So that if even if you ended up firing me, you take this documentation and you hand it over to someone else, IT. and you can easily reference everything. Oh my God. So okay. So the other thing I was going to get at, you're already using the keychain for Apple to back up your passwords. If you had something like LastPass, you'd have a notes entry that allows you to put this sort of documentation in digital form so you don't physically have to. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. So, so LastPass, say is, LastPass is a digital like ID wallet for all the stuff we're talking about. Okay, ID wallet. So yeah, so you put the app on the phone and in your browser, which I can show you how that works. On phone. Hey, sir. Oh. Browser. You um you can slow down. Yeah. No. Because I'm gonna come back. You don't worry about We don't have to yeah. we don't have to do everything today because no, that's impossible. Yeah, and don't be embarrassed about asking me to repeat myself either. So no. I'm just uh, it, it's my I'm, mind goes in ten directions which at is, once. Yeah, and that yeah. and and normally I'm in pretty good shape yeah, you're, to keep up. Right. But I um uh, uh, and this is not who I am. Right. You're, you're I could yeah. cry right now. Yeah. It angst, really. Yeah. The violation. I could honestly. And it's not even. It, it's A, the violation, but B, the frustration right. of how I have not confronted this. Yes. You know? Yeah. And this, and I'm actually saying the core of it. I. I'm organized. I, I I have a lot of sane, intelligent abilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I ha the massive things that I haven't confronted to understand the way that you're outlining for me now. Right. That's what has like beaten me up over the last five days. Right. Drive to Century City. Drive back to Apple, go to Big Bear, come yeah. back home, go to Big Bear, come back home. Get on Apple right. on the phone. I want to shoot everybody. Right, you the know, anxiety and the... Try to, yeah. try to fix it myself. Right. Not even a freaking chance. Right. That's... That I was... Somebody came into my house I just couldn't even care less about. You know what I mean? Right. I wasn't hurt. Right. So, you know, maybe the violation if violation is painful, though. Well, it is. Yeah. That's probably back there someplace. Right. But believe me, it's buried under... Right. I can't do this, but I'm doing it, and I know it's the right thing. And this is almost the crazy part, Chris. I'm glad this happened. Right. So that I can face this. So I did I think that's a lot of the, the bane of a lot of people's anxiety and problems in life. They don't address their issues. 
Yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay, this is the stuff that happened. Now I need to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I and I honestly feel like this is such a fabulous thing that's happened to me. But nevertheless, right. it's a fight. Right. The, <clears throat> like you said earlier, the more order you have, the better you are. And a thousand percent. Yeah. I, I'm going to send you a of couple of quotes on oh, I, I'm a, on half order. My time, half my free time is on YouTube doing self-help videos, just looking at it and just taking in everything I can to improve. So, Wait, I, I'm going to send you a yeah. couple of quotes that Sweet. will validate uh, your goal. Yeah. Okay. We're all in this, uh, uh, we're uh, creatures of refinement, not perfection. So. Uh, that's, that. Yeah. That's yeah. the term I kind of came up with. I don't know if I heard I think it somewhere. It's a, I, think it, I think it's a great one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Very, well, very We're good. not capable of perfection, but we can spend our entire time on earth refining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. A, a discussion for another time. It's all right. Okay. Sweet. So we got documentation, physical documentation of what's going on. Yeah. We got office downloading. How are we on battery? I didn't even pay attention. Yes, we're good. Um, download folder. Download. Where is it? Download. That's Finder. Yeah. Oh, download. Download folder is always yeah. here. There's our download. But see, there should be thousands of downloads. Okay, so it didn't retrieve your entire download folder. But that not, not even a teeny bit of it. It was not checked, right. It was not part of the... Uh, that's why I wanted to see if your phone might have been tied to another account. But it looks like your Gmail was your. Is oh, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if you're if you do have a. I wonder if the old Big Bear account is what your iCloud account actually had. We we could check. Go ahead and type your hardware password here. The one you type it when you. When I it, open when, it up. Yes. Just thinking hard about something. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, uh, it's, there's an expression called blowing down, but you have all this charge or neg let's call it negative energy going right. around you. Yeah. And when it starts going away, yeah. it's like a blow down. Like you just like, right. you don't, well, you don't even realize that it was, you had the weight you were carrying. A lot of people with it that are under stress don't realize oh, how yeah. stressed they are right. until it goes away. Yeah. Well, it's like getting out of a bad relationship. It's like, wow, I didn't realize how character. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah. actually yeah. a lighthearted person. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, but the the feeling of that charge blowing away, but I've known it was there because I'm not, I'm not a stressed person. You know, right. I just handle, 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 handle. Yeah. And love life, love life, and I have right. two. I have three sons, two live within a mile of me in, Be yeah. in Manhattan Beach, nice. one in Carlsbad, six grandchildren, four wow. little guys on right. either side of me. Well, uh, I have a have great that, life. It's, yeah, it sounds like you have a good network. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, um, they don't have that fortunate. Yeah, I have a fabulous, right. fabulous network. And so, but this is hardcore what I'm, conf what I'm, I think to like go to the next, like you were saying, to move. What what did you call it? Not perfection, but moving. In a refinement. We're yeah. Creatures of refinement. Okay, so to move towards, I'll say expansion. Right. Like hardcore expansion. Yes. Not just losing weight. Right. Or becoming <laughs> less tied to the physical world. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, because the abilities you have that are not physical universe abilities right. are so magnificent okay right. so believe it or not this kind of frustration with the physical universe and that's what all of this stuff is you know th like I can go into a kitchen and make anything 
Right. So somebody else might try to make dinner and right. be so upset by the end of the night that right. they hate the whole family, right? Right. Just bring 12 people into the house anytime you want, and yeah. I will have a dinner for them in wow. 30 minutes, right. you know? But don't put me in front of this. Right. But now I'm going to confront this yeah. and do it. Okay. Add some order, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm putting order in. Right. Thanks to you. Guys. Yeah, well, hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Sweet. So we're installing Office. And then after this, we can install your emails into Microsoft Outlook, which is part of what this is. Okay, good. Okay, so we're on the verge of 11 o'clock. What's your schedule? I'm just hanging out. You're the only reason I'm here right now, except I got someone else coming over to pick up a hard drive uh, any minute. That's okay. what that phone call was. Okay. And then maybe lunch, and then I'm going to help finish cleaning up after myself. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Good. So we're All right, good. so we're not on a you, no, time machine. No, I don't machine. have any schedules. We're not on a time right. machine right now. I'm on My your time, yes. Next thing is babysitting at 5 o'clock. I think that's the next thing. Yeah. I am a big time babysitter. Family? Yeah. Or friend? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, Fam my mom's oh, always no. babysitting my nephew and niece. No, but yeah. I. They're all under three. Yeah. Within a mile. Four. Under yeah. three within a mile that's of That's the other part of the healthy lifestyle, having that network. Yeah. And really uh, having more to do gives you more reason to live. Yeah, yeah. And this house... Is fabulous. Do, have you, do you ever go to Big Bear? I haven't been up there since I was a kid. My parents had a cabin over in uh, Sugarloaf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, built this house 30 years ago, and it's on the lake, and it's spectacular. And uh, if you want to go up sometime, yeah. let me know. Yeah. That would uh, eventually, like my, I have recently bought, purchased property in the desert. So that'll be my future retirement plan. Oh, fine. I love the mountains. I love the desert. So I need to get something in the mountains eventually. Yeah. So that it's a little, like right now, I'm not yeah. going to Salton Sea or uh, Bullhead City because it's the <laughs> desert in the middle of the summer. But the mountains yeah. are where I would spend the summer. Yeah. Or if I want to go skiing, I'd do that yeah. in the winter. Yeah. But the summer is really unbearable this time of year. Yeah. So. Well, I will take your number. And sure. it's rented all the time in the summer, like I okay. said, and yeah. all and the said time if in the winter. It's a big house on the water. Yeah, my mom goes up there with her boyfriend, so yeah, they might rent it from you, and I wouldn't even know. Yeah, well, sometime uh, what I'm going to do is keep you posted. Like if there's it, when winter comes, if you ski, yeah, you do you still ski. Yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, um, that's how old I am. I know skiing. I've never snowboarded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I tried. Snowboarding. Snowboarding seems it's like, oh man, you must be old. You use skis? Yeah. yeah. Well, and this was years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I said to my sons, you know, hey, I, I want to snowboard. And we go out and it's a heavy, heavy, wet snow. Yeah. And I face plant. And you can't get up. Right. Skiing's a little easier. You, you can, physically, there's no yeah. way to get up when yeah. your feet well, are tied well, down. And you're on your stomach, and heavy snow six inches deep is yeah. all around you. Yeah. And my son comes, picks up his head, my head, and says, "Now look around. Do you see any mothers? Good. Go back and cook." <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> wow. That was my end of my snowboarding. Wow. No skiing. At least when you fall, you can kick your skis off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so are we still waiting for this guy? Yes, we're well, okay. updating because it, immediately it saw that there were updates available. Yeah. Good. Now it's up to date. And now we're going to do this. We're going to start Microsoft Outlook because that was not installed. So we're going to do Outlook. And then you said this is how you read your email. Well, I hope. Yes. Well, we'll find out. Also, my... My, my writing, my emails, yeah. or, or my documents, yeah. there was a logo on here, uh -huh. and it wasn't this dumb thing. Okay, that's fair. Good. So your pass, okay, good. So now you're actually logging in to the email, not, good, continue. Good, type your, uh, good, continue. Next. Next, yes. 
Now type a password, your Gmail password. My Gmail password. Yes. And don't think, I know, I know it. I, I'm not All even right. going to look. I know what it is. LDL. Oh, wait a minute. It's what? not, L, it's not See, the, the Microsoft password. Right, that's why, yeah. So this time you are actually checking your mail. And yes. so I want my password. For the Gmail email. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, before we were, so your Gmail email in Microsoft standpoint was a placeholder. Now you're actually logging in your email account. And I'm, and so I put my password in. Yes. Your Gmail email. When's the last time you checked it manually? It's kind of like maybe asking me my name and I couldn't remember. That's all right. Just my e my email That's password. not the end of the world if we have to reset it. No, no, no. This this is this would Let's try this cuz it looks like it's already saved. Okay, that was correct. Now check your uh, Gmail email here. Open up your Gmail app. Yeah. Here it is. It says go to the um, Oh, open photos. It wants you to open up photos. Where's the photos app? Oh, okay. Type uh, Gmail photos. Just photos is right yeah, here. Uh, no, what's the Gmail photos app that's apparently installed? Open the Google photos app on LLMB. So let's do Google. There, that's what they wanted. Good. So now it's going to confirm that number. Yes, that's us. And then there's our number. There, now it's going to get us in. So you have double authentication turned on, which is good for security. Obviously, we needed that phone to get in, and that made life a little easier. Good. So now, you'll be able to check that email through Microsoft Outlook, which is that blue software. So I didn't understand all, all right. of the things you just said. Okay. So you need your, if ever you needed to like log in your email and you didn't have your hardware with you, because if you didn't have your phone, you'd be kind of up a creek because you made it set so that for security, if anyone wanted to break into your email, you would, for all intents and purposes, need your phone with you. All right. Good. You remember the key fobs that corporate users carry to get into their... Uh, yes, yeah, yes, well, that's yes. Basically On what movies you, and things yeah. like that. Yeah, so that's what they've set up. Okay. That's what you've set up. You just don't remember doing it. Good. Okay. Uh, do we have any other emails you do want to stick with? I know you want to get rid of the uh, Big Bear one, right? Uh, yeah, no, there's no other e uh, emails. There is like um, accounting at the Big Bear house. Linda, you're going to keep Bear. that one? No, no. Okay, you're no. going to get rid of all that. All, all of the it. things related to. Just your Gmail email right here. Good. So there. We've just logged into your Gmail. So this is the software that allows that to happen. Outlook. So it looks like you have 33 unread bo in, uh, inbox emails. You got 80 in the jump box. Where are the emails? How many more do you think you're missing? No, that's probably about right. All right. But Good. where are they? What do you mean, where are they? I don't see them. These here. These are emails? Yes. Because when, when I asked you if you use Outlook to read your mail, I thought you said yes. So that's why we signed into here because I know, oh, it's in focus mode. There. Good. These are. Yeah, I don't like how that default view is. That's weird to look at. Maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe this also might be a newer version of Outlook too because sometimes if you have like a five or six year old version of Outlook, it could cosmetically confuse Which I did. you. Right, because we've just installed the latest and greatest. Okay, so, I'm so happy. <laughs> so there's your Airbnb inquiry as of today, just several minutes ago, a minute ago. Mm -hmm. So just go through here. We can do a search if you want to see if it's all up to date. Where's the search function on this version? Oh, up here. So do, do a search for an email you know is in your inbox somewhere. Um. Uh, maybe that wouldn't be there. Uh. So somebody that would have sent me an email? Oh, uh, oh, it was still downloading emails too. So now it looks like you have 67 inboxing emails. So <clears throat> Click I just, that? Yeah, th this is what we're looking at right here. Uh, click other. I don't like that focus feature because it hides a lot of emails. 
other can, can there that's all the emails in your inbox as of right now so yeah but one came just a minute ago yeah. and now it's gone no it's there because it's red because we clicked on it so now it's in your um red your uh folder it's no longer registered as red uh new i mean but we didn't look at it uh well we clicked on it though so like if you click on it like that where is that other email the one airbnb yeah, there this one here oh that was weird. Oh, it's still downloading, so it's not accurate for the next several minutes. Okay. So the numbers How, are going to Where start. do you see that it's downloading? See, now it says 67. Oh, oh okay. If, when we first opened it up, it only said 33. So oh. You, and then the other way to look at... I'm going to not over, overwhelm you with information, but watch this. If Outlook ever breaks, you can always go to gmail.com and log in and confirm that your account is in good standing. See, I... That's all right. I'm not trying to beat anyone up or tell you to hurry up. Let's see here. Let's but is there a difference between how my emails look with Outlook versus Gmail? So think of Outlook as a web browser for nothing but email. Does that make sense? Not really. That's why I want to log in to gmail.com so you can compare and contrast here. Okay, good. So there, there's your same email account that Outlook is also reading. Okay, so, so now, that's just what I'm used to. Yeah. Would I be advised to get used to something new? So Outlook, I thought, because you said that's how you read your mail, I try not to, like, you can literally have five I words. said Outlook, but yeah. I didn't know what I was talking about. That's fine. About. So this is why I'm showing you the other way to check the mail. Okay. So cosmetically, they're going to be very different, but the content's going to be identical. So that's why I understand why novices have beat themselves up. Because there's five ways to do everything on a computer. Yeah. You get two ways to do your email that way. Okay. So I hit overload. Yeah. You, personally. Yeah, right. Yeah. You don't want to get confused because I was trying to shoehorn, oh, well, she said Outlook. That's how she reads her mail. Okay. Look, so when can we meet again? Because Whenever. I can't do yeah, any more. That's fine. All right. All right. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't able to retrieve your data, but here's your drive. Okay. And thank if you, you want, I can just recycle that. Yeah, where do they go? Uh, there's a Hyperion plant in front of the LAX airport. Perfect. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yeah. Do you? I found some well, of these places online. Yeah, let me do you give have you, one you I'll give you the one. So the one I told you, they'll, they'll charge you 50 bucks to assess it. And then uh, you can have, call them. They're in Georgia, so you'll end up mailing the drive. Georgia, the state? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it's a big deal because they, they're literally going to rebuild that like an engine to get your data back. So I see, I saw one place that's close by here. Well, you can have a conversation with them and see what they want to charge you. Okay. And make sure that you get results for what you pay them. Right. Yeah. Right. Result, uh, yeah. Okay. But you've had good success with yeah. these folks. Yeah. Uh, My Hard Drive Dive is who they're called. What is it called? My Hard Drive Dive. <laughs> exactly. Right. Well titled. Okay. Right. Okay. So that, because it's in Georgia, their phone number mm -hmm. is 678. Mm -hmm. 445-9007. Okay, awesome. So just call them sometime midday or earlier tomorrow mm -hmm. so that you can talk to a person. And then they'll charge you 50 bucks after you send it to them okay. to figure out what the deal is. Mm -hmm. And then they'll charge you another 900 or 950. That's the going rate for them. Yeah. Okay, you, that's you, a good starting yeah. point. Yeah, so at least they'll charge you only 50 bucks and they'll be able to tell you if they can help you. Okay. And there's a pretty, basically speaking, Having a little bit of backdoor knowledge, that fifty dollars means they've already done the job. They just don't want to. They, they're basically if they charge you the fifty bucks, there's a darn good chance that they're going to be able to say, "Here's your data." Okay. Yeah. Okay. And why did this happen? It's normal behavior. It's like an engine that has a million miles on it. It's going to fail at some point. Okay. So it's just the age of the computer. Yeah, that's why I beat everyone up over backing up. It's, I I know that, yeah. and I kept seeing. You know what it is? We both work on laptops, so right. we knew our work data was backed up, yeah. so it wasn't as much of like a, right. you know, the urgency to right. do it. So, yeah. you know, you just ignore those yeah. messages. But you, have you, to think, you have to think of your backup plan as sort of like an insurance policy. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I thank you. Do I yeah. owe you anything no, for this? No, for good. I told you if I couldn't get your data, it took me five minutes to get into that machine. So. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks very much. All have right. a nice day. Sure. All right. Good. Yeah. Um, can't help everyone. Well, you yeah. certainly help everybody. Yeah. Um, uh, but, yeah. you know, if the car's demolished, it's yeah. demolished. It's either total. Well, yeah, so the drive is a motor. It's like yeah. you, uh, 
you want to make sure you're backed up. In fact, before we finish up right now, we can make sure that all the check boxes are so that this machine's backed up. Good. Yeah. So let's do that. Yeah. And then I'm going to determine right now about coming back because sure. by the time I get home, digest this, yeah. Yeah. and then figure out what else Right. I need make more notes tomorrow when the, when a little bit more time is. Well, passed. tomorrow's we Sunday. We're not doing. I thought oh, you're right. not yeah. doing Sunday. You're right. Yeah, but you, you'll um, have overnight to sleep on it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and so Monday. Monday, good. I have a three o'clock appointment. So okay. How? What time do you normally like to come in? Ten a.m. Good. Then I'll. Good. Is ten o'clock okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, yeah. Let me just make sure I don't have any other accounts. Didn't adhere to Monday. Yeah, I just had that 3 o'clock. Good. So 10 a.m. is perfect. That way we're both fresh. Oh, good. And, and we're good. Started me already. Make another list maybe tomorrow. Yeah. So we're doing this Monday? Monday, 10 a.m. Cool. Um, and um, okay. I just want to... Uh, Yeah, this came on, but this is spam, right? Yeah, I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's good that you recognize that. That's not an uh, Amazon email. Yeah. Uh, I, what they took, so that's called a phishing scam. What they want is for you to assume it is. Yeah. And then pretend to log in when really all they're doing is sucking up the password you just gave them. That's why they call it a phishing scam. They're hoping you bite that bait. Well, I looked at it. Right. That's and fine. That Okay, just don't normally ever, I don't look at yeah, it. Yeah, don't ever reset your password unless you made a conscious effort to try to reset your password. Oh. So if you get an email that looks like, hey, it looks like someone's trying to break in, just acknowledge the fact, make a mental note that, yeah, someone's trying to break in. Yeah. Don't give them the password. Um, sometimes I forward it to abuse at yeah. Bank of America. Right, good. Yeah, see, it's very Can I do that? Yes. Okay, yes. good. So, yes. Um, Um, info. Yes. And well, I can't seem to do that on this one, but I'm gonna do so. I'll just and plus, it's getting to be a pain. Um, oh, gee, I deleted something else, but I'll have to live with that. Uh, Good. Um, okay, so that was just an easy thing, and right. um, yeah, everything else is fine. Yeah, and I'm sure you'll have more notes and things yes. to pay attention to, and if yeah. you want to build up an R uh, yeah, your IT folder again, like it looks like you got the Arlo cameras, just that's part of what you want, the last pass account, which I was talking about. Yeah. That's a great, think of it as an e-wallet. So all, your, all these IT accounts, Retain, yeah, yeah. I can, oh, I was going to show you, but we got sidetracked. But without getting technical, I've been using LastPass for, I don't know, 15 years, and it's free. It's an app on the phone and the computer. We can do this next time. But this is a list of all my accounts. And then let's just say, let's just choose this one uh, randomly. If we go edit, it, it shows me my password if I do that. And then it also has a notes field yeah so like if I tell you to take notes or if you think of yeah. notes you can type the notes yeah. related to that particular right. account wow. including putting dates or names of yeah. people that helped you with that account yeah so like if you had a phone call with that company you could put that note yeah. in here so that's why LastPass is just one of those Good. practice where you we'll, preach sort uh, of things yeah write this down on the list yeah LastPass not that you won't will forget but Right, I try to, a lot of people, they just get flustered because they're not technical. They think, oh, it's another digital thing for me to learn. But no. really, it's no, something worth it learning. Sounds, no, I like lists. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, LastPass is like a, a wallet for all your passwords. God. And you are using the one that's built into Apple, but it's, obviously, it's not, if, that, if it, your Apple account gets compromised. Yeah. 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 That's why you want a third-party utility to yes. maintain your login accounts. Yes. So... In your case, your Apple account was compromised, even if technically it wasn't. Yeah. You don't know. You're in a state of not knowing. And that was just a... Uh... And we still have a bunch of data on there. I don't even know if it's accurate because 
it's obvious you have a lot of data, but you're telling me there's still stuff that's missing. So we'll just have to revisit this Monday. Yeah, and by then I'll, uh, well, maybe not by then, but in the near future, yeah. I want those other things eliminated, but that's used right now for BRBO. Do right. you want to see the house? Sure, yeah. Okay, this is going to be a treat. Yeah, I yearn to get out of the big city. Um, fact, uh, if I didn't have work to do this weekend, I probably would have gone somewhere. Um, I try like once every couple months just to get out of here. Okay, search. Yo, yo. Uh, I got an uncle, uh, no, no, a cousin who has a tire shop up there. It sleeps more than 12, but so I've... It's a big old house. Uh, it's a big you old house. You say it's house. right on the water? That sounds like the property my mom and her boyfriend have gone to. Well, it's a big house. I, uh, I don't know how big a house it was. This is uh, filters. We want it. House on the lake. Done. And... There it is. Cool, sweet. Yeah, that's a fairy tale picture. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. A place to escape. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that sounds like. Oh, you were on the water. Well, yeah, that was years ago. Oh. Now the dock has moved over here. There's a right. two football fields in wow. front of me, but wow. but the dock is still out of the water. Right. Um. So this is where they walked in and found all my stuff wow. sitting on the table and grabbed right. it. Right. Um, uh, now this is the back view of the house. Right. Um, see all that, yeah. Did the water know? used see that I put in a volleyball court. Right. But the water used to come. The volleyball court would be in the water if right. the water was where it should be. Wow. That's a fairy tale property. This is where I was sleeping upstairs. Wow. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. Five bedrooms, five bath. Then you go downstairs wow. to a pool room and to oh, a have couple. You had it? Built it 32 years ago. Wow. Was it? A, did you scrape it, or was it a dirt plot, or? What? It was. A, it was dirt. Wow. And my mom and I were up there with my sons, who were little at the time, and. Yeah. Um, we we both liked real estate, so I yeah. think we tied them to the Sweet. bed post or something and wow. said, let's go driving around looking yeah. at houses. And we drove by this lot, and we actually had gotten a realtor just for the fun of it, and right. she really hated us because <laughs> she knew we were just fooling Pulling around. around right. Oh, screws, screws for the back of this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, screws to close that up. Good. And, um, flip, be gentle on flipping it around, and then we'll just do that, yeah. Um, Oops, here we go. Uh, do you want a check or Zell? Zell, or is, per per Zell is perfect. Zell is yeah. perfect. Okay, then I um, will add you. And, uh, or a credit card, but. Zell is fine. Uh, good Zell is good. Um, so anyway, we drove by this lot and I said, oh, wait, stop. Yeah. And she said, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I yeah. say that it's a lot. I called my husband and I said, Hello. Yeah. Sounds like the same hello when you wanted to get married. Said, <laughs> yeah, pretty much is. <laughs> yeah. I want to buy this lot. Well, oh wow, that's that one's screw that uh, weird. That one is totally hosed. That screw on me. Oh okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for so, my uh, Bank of America online account. You can use it. And um, just a whole. Where did you go? There you go, Via Bay. And we're going to go to the password for your user ID was your changed. Your account or your, um, your bank account? Bank account. All right. Yeah, you can do um, through that. The password for your user ID, Lombardo. L. Lombardo. Let me see was changed. Oh, okay, so what I noticed is that you're doing it through the web browser. Are you actually in the app? Are you in the B of A app? Yeah. It looks like 
because I use a B of A app and it looks. Wait a second. Uh, the Get rid of that. There you go. Oh yeah, you are in the app. It will yeah. kind of look like the web browser. That's why. Click OK. Good. Now try to sign in. Type your, you got to pretend to type your password. There you go. Now type your password. Right, your face ID. So basically, for oh, security, oh, okay. My every password. once in a while, they want the password, even if it has face ID. Jesus, Chris. No, I'm not. Yeah, don't. You're not being rash. I get it. There's How five ways to do I, everything. I have to know this. Yeah. All right. Let me see here. What screw do we want to use? All righty. Oh, that's a Phillips. Let me see. Setting your password? Are well, you I can't remember it. Oh. It sounds like you're uh, in a windstorm. Can you say that again? Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. And ever since I did that swap, I'm I'm getting uh, no display, no keyboard, no mouse. Um, I don't know if I need like a flash BIOS or what the deal is, but I'm I'm about troubleshot it all I can. The pro the driver's probably compromised. They've got utilities that'll either uh, uninstall the utility, or if you want, we could just re reinstall Windows and start over. But oftentimes when you swap out video cards like that, the video card driver can get glitchy. Well, no, I didn't have it. So I, before I did the CPU swap, I, I put the 3070 uh, Ti in um, with the old CPU, and it ran just fine. I downloaded NVIDIA drivers and all that. That was all fine. It was when I swapped the CPU. Yeah, the, oh, the actual CPU, not GPU. That's why I thought we got... Okay, so the CPU? No, no, no. C CPU. I swapped from a Ryzen either 5 or 7 3700X to the Ryzen 9. The newest yeah. one, but I have an older I have an older motherboard. Right. Um Hello. Oh, he we lost him. Um okay, so yeah. I I I can't remember it. That's all right. No big deal. We can do credit card. I don't want to get I'll you too fresh. I'll give fresh. you cash. Oh, cash. I'll give cool. you $100 right cool. now, and then all you right. can charge me the rest All right. Yeah, it's uh, a, a, when, on, when I come on Monday because right, cool. I went over. All right. Yeah, it's basically, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. Do you want a receipt anyway? No. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, I'm finishing up finding the screws here. All right. He's going to have to reinstall Windows. All right. And the 
maybe we can quickly try to find my Apple ID. Yes. Well, it's in your phone. I'll show you how where it is. Hi, it's Chris. For more options, press star. Hi, it's Chris. You bet you there? Hey, Chris. Sorry, this is. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Okay, no, it's okay. So it uh, sounds like you. Go ahead. No, no, no. You go ahead. You're the expert. It sounds like you need to reinstall Windows because if you swap out the CPU, the whole system probably is confused. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys charge for something like that if if that is in fact what's going on? One hundred. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I guess. Obviously, if it's not that, you'll go further into yes. finding out what's going on. I did try to troubleshoot and pull the RAM out and all that. Right. So I don't know if I created more of a friggin' mess than, than what I had going on. Yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, best case um, scenario, we'd probably just need to reinstall Windows. Okay. How do you, I mean, how do you guys get into it, though, if uh, there's no display, no BIOS? Are you going to go through the BIOS? How does that work? Well, it's like a mechanic goes that goes through an engine that doesn't start. They gotta poke around at it, look for loose connections, uh, reseed a few connections, see if anything's missing, that sort of thing. Sometimes, just like I know you said, you went through the motions of resetting your RAM, but those are the sorts of things I have to do in person. I got you. Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds like you know what you're doing. I appreciate it. I, you're not gonna be overly excited about working on my case because it's the fractal torn, and I. I packed it full with all the RGB shit and all that, so it's all right. I know everything works. Um, every, everything worked prior to that, but what's the best way to get it over there to you guys? You guys are closed on Sundays, correct? Yes. Just give me some sort of heads up before you head over to make sure I'm available. Okay. Um, if I can't get by there today, then then uh, is Monday okay? Yes. Okay, great. Hey, thanks a lot for your help, sir. I appreciate okay. you talking with me. My name is Jason, by the way. Great. So I'll, I'll be in touch. I'll be here uh, Monday, except I have a house call at 3 p.m. Monday, so earlier that day. Okay. And I'm here. Yeah. And uh, I'll be busy uh, first thing in the morning, okay. at around, which is around 10. So if you want to come by, like, after 11, and in between, between let's say 11 and 2. Between 11 and 2 on Monday? Yes. Okay, I will. I will shoot for that. I'm coming from El Segundo. All Great. right, thanks. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Bye. All right, there we are. Sharon. Yes, dear. I'll give you a call back in a few minutes. Okay, because we're going to be on the cell range shortly. Okay, well I'll talk to you then later today or tomorrow. Well, we're going to be up at the yeah, we can't talk. Okay. okay, good. All right, talk to you bye. soon. Bye. bye. Have fun. Oh, let me get some tape on here. Good. All right. Good. I found all the screws we need. There. Now we're good. Hi. Hi. There's my mommy. Oh, mommy. Hi, mom. Oh, I was told she's got a house up in Big Bear. I wondered if it was a house that you and Bruce got rented. Yeah, she's got a nice one right on the water. Is that where you went? It was right above. There's lots right on the water. Uh, Moon Raker? Pardon me? I'm not Moon Raker. Where's the job? The area. This is straight down from, um, at, on Eagles Point. Straight down from There's the McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Yes. Straight down from McDonald's. Yeah, but we go straight down from McDonald's and then make a left? No, straight down from McDonald's. Don't say where we stay? Yeah. My house is to the right. Okay. There's so a what about Bear Bear Drive? What does that mean? Drive Big Bear Boulevard. Boulevard. Okay. So we come up the hill. McDonald's is right here. You turn left. Turn left. And you kind of start up a, a little bit of a, a hill. A little bit of a hill, and then we make another left. Yeah. For my house, you continue to go straight. You don't make that left because it's like a peninsula. Right. And this side of the peninsula is Eureka, and this side of the peninsula is Eagle. So we're on the Eagle side. Yeah. Cover you are? No, I'm on the Eureka side. Oh, okay. Close. Oh, I'll check it yeah. out. Sorry. Yeah. Well, cool. I gave Chris, I showed Chris it online, and also because I want to marry him because I'm so indebted to him because <laughs> my life was so falling her apart. Her house was burglarized and her computer was going to Oh, I heard you on the phone. That he, you know, I was here when you called. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. he had on the speaker and I was cleaning up here. Yeah. Um, Good job. Huh? I said, good mom. Well, I'm helping him organize. Them. Yeah, good. We, 
Good. Okay. <laughs> we so, were talking uh, about that. Okay. Uh, Here we are. It's all in one piece. Okay. All the screws are intact now. And I just have some, uh, just got an email, but I'm pretty sure it's. Let me see something real quick. So do you rent your place out? Constantly. Yeah, she's yeah. an Airbnb. Who, who takes care of it? Well, a friend of mine, my, bro my boyfriend's um, sister and husband, they take care of homes and rentals and stuff, and they have their own rentals. So, well, I'll tell you what, um, my a friend of mine from college rents it. Um, it's full time. Not, what do you mean full time? No, no, no. He rents it on, he handles Airbnb. the VRBO oh, and Airbnb. That's what David does. Yeah. And yeah. he does, right. he does 90% of my rentals. And then Big Bear Vacations, mm -hmm. who's the, is my local manager. Before, before my friend David said, you know, put it on VRBO, I was only with Big Bear Vacations. It's a rental company. It's a big rental company mm -hmm. up there. Um, you David, that's David's name. No, no, David Bant is my friend from college. Well, that's who I'm talking that's, about. We have, yeah. That's who I'm talking about, David Banta. David Banta is my boyfriend's sister's husband, David and Karen. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Get out of town. No. No, wait a minute. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> Now the plot thickens. We're like related, almost. Well, but she and Bruce have been together for for thirty years. Yeah, and I've worked for Caden for their catering company. What's, what's your name? Linda Lombardo. I know you. I met you at the Oscars years ago. Oh yes, of course. Oh, so I was getting my Oscar. No, I know what you mean. So no, you guys and know then I've worked on a couple of your parties up in the hill. So you guys know each other, all right? Well, yeah. now. Personal, but okay. we've met several times. So explain the relationship to me again. My boyfriend, Bruce. Yes. Bruce Berger. Bruce Berger. David Banta. Woman is Karen Fields. That's his sister. Well then. And she's the one that had the catering company. Well then you David. have been at my house. Is it your house? Yes. Yes, that is your house. But you said make a. We always make a left. Well, then maybe you just make a left and drive around the point. I don't that know. That could be. Because. That could because be. Because Karen. So it's your house we stay in. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Do you, well. <laughs> he's never been Walk in the I've house. I've never been up there. Uh, I know. Two look car at the garage. garage. Look at the Should we just show on me? Yeah. Yeah. Go downstairs to a yes, pool room. Yes. Upstairs to where Play, I was sleeping on Sunday. Down into there. The, yeah. the best room in the house is the bat upstairs. The bat bedroom in the back because less noise back there. Your boyfriend's is brother is sister. No, your boyfriend's sister is Karen Field. Is Karen's husband is Karen Field. Da David Bruce Banta. Field. No, no. It, it's Karen Field Burger. Oh, Karen Burgerfield. Okay. And Bruce, Karen is Bruce's sister. Bruce is my boyfriend. Karen is Bruce's sister. sister. Mm -hmm. Karen is Bruce. And he has another sister, too. Kathy. You were Kathy. all at the house, and and, uh, and actually the we last time. We were up there for last Christmas. Yeah. Or afterwards. Yeah, yeah and I came in. And some of you were still there. Maybe no, it wasn't. I mean, we, we only stayed for a day or two. Yeah, okay. So you had already left. Oh, but we weren't staying. Oh, you didn't we stay. We rented another place because yeah. it was crowded. Yeah, yeah, because it, it was, was a big group. Mm -hmm. So it was her house you were staying. It was staying. her house. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's weird because I randomly said, I wonder if it's your house. You and I'm like, no, it's not my house. Because <laughs> it's hundreds of wow. houses. Wow. wow. Small world. Huh? Wow, small world. So okay. that, that house was burglarized and her computer was sitting on the table. Is that the house that was yes. burglarized? <gasps> I was sleeping upstairs in the bedroom. There was two open nights between guests. I had a bunch of repair people lined up. I, I go upstairs, turn all the lights off. Sometimes I don't even lock the front door over well, the last 30 years. Go. But I did. They had a key. They just walked Somebody, right in. Yeah. They had a key. They had a key that came from Big Bear Vacations. Big Bear Vacations. Every house up there that's rented has to have a local management company wow. there. 
so that if a disaster happened, yeah. David, who's off in Colorado, yeah, well, that's yeah. where he is right, right now. I know that. Mm -hmm. So he can't take care of anything. Mm -hmm. So I so by law, by city law, you have to also have a big bear a, a vacation rental company right there. Just in, in the case. town. Oh, okay. In the town. Mm -hmm. And before David ever started renting my house, I was already with Big Bear Vacations. But they weren't doing that. In fact, I wasn't doing VRBO. And then one time, <laughs> this is really funny, Chris. Yeah. One time, David was up there with the woman from Montana who just now called me on yeah. the phone. There's some psychic thing right. going on in the yeah, universe. I know why I believe in that. And we were all three good friends in college. We met going skiing. Um, and David said, "You got." I was going to sell it. David said, "No, no, no. Let me put it on VRBO for you." He's so good at it. He's very, very good at it. That's that's his thing. And yeah, he takes very good care of all his places. You know. Yeah, yeah. And he's building the new one out there. Yes, I know. But he's away a lot of the time, and more so now. Yeah. And. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get cell reception all the right. time, and mm -hmm. so that's a little. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, so there you go. I'll be darned. So yeah. I was just telling Chris. So I'm, next time you see, you talk to David. Say, hey, I'm talking to Chris and his mom, Kimberly. <laughs> have you have you met him? Oh, oh yeah, yes. we've been we we've to been together for thirty years. She and Bruce. She knows. You she, met David? Yes. Holy cow. I a fixed their computers times. while they were local. All right, let me just, this is going to be funny. In I'm your gonna, car? Do you have his car? No, where's my phone here? I wanted to show you something. Let's take a selfie of the three of us. Oh, and that's even and better. And I'll send well, it to let's, David. Let's, let's, let's I mean, in a nice here, I'll just, Oh, yeah. no, I don't want to do it in a nice place. I want all of this showing. I want, I want if it can be. Yeah. And I look like I've been, I've, dirt. When they were local, when they lived on the hill, I helped them with their computers. Because, you know, they used to live in uh, uh, Rancho PB. Over by them. Rancho yeah. PB. Yeah. He used to do all their computers. Um, I, okay, yeah, there you I go. I should be having psychic. That's all right. <laughs> okay. There. I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, oh, okay, good. Okay. With your hands in the way. Where's the, uh, oh. Why don't you flip the phone around? Yeah. What does he know? Hmm? How old is he? No, I said, what does he know? But okay, right. Right down. <laughs> a little closer to his yeah. faces. Yeah, yeah. Closer. You don't need oh. so much top. Yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> Okay. There. Good. Okay. So D David says, will not gonna go. freaking what? believe it. No, he won't. He will not Slow believe it. Slow world, huh? Yeah. yeah, it is a, well, we, Chris and I were talking about that too. Okay, yeah. so, oh my gosh, my life has just gotten so much better. Good. Um, yeah, I remember w at one of the Oscars, you were working with us. Yeah. And you had your rhinestone Oscar shirt. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. She had upgraded her yeah. her uh, tux. Yeah. She had the rhinestone ones. Yeah. It was so cute. Yeah. Well, I, I might be going back to the Oscars, not in that capacity, but we'll see. As a guest? <laughs> um, to the Oscars? Always, oh, no, no, no. It's a, it's, it's a long story that we'll have over a glass of wine sometime. Cool. <laughs> well, where are you living now? Are you still on the hill? In Manhattan Beach. Oh, oh no, no, I never right. lived on the hill. Uh, I, I always lived in Manhattan. No, I was just referencing no, when you were married, house. You didn't live up there? No, we lived in Manhattan Beach always. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of another person. Maybe it's not me that we're friends. Maybe we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. How long have you been in Manhattan? Well, uh, forever. Uh, I think you were married. I was married. We lived well. in Manhattan Beach, and then we got a divorce, and then for a while I lived in the village. And then my son, one of my sons, had a little apartment right on Manhattan Avenue. And uh, when he got married and bought a house, he said, "You're moving in here." So I'm now in 500 square feet. It's about like this. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm on Manhattan Avenue. I'm yeah. a block from the beach. I walk to Vons. I can go any place I want well, to you're eat. One person, you only need all I need. Here we are. Except the tech. Oh, well, uh, I, I grew my homegrown tech. Yeah, but I didn't know when I was growing very, them that I, he was going to Very, be. very smart. Very I tried, smart yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Um, okay, well. Okay. Uh, that was uh, awesome. Yeah, this is really awesome. There we I'm go. ridiculous. I'm ridiculous with your hair up. 
Yeah, I haven't done much with my hair for the last five days, I'll tell you that. Well, me neither. My eye is easy to wash. Well, she's been stressed out, it's so all that's I her point. It's all I can do not to cry. I told Kristen, I'm not sorry if I start crying. And the more you started talking, I'm going, wait a minute. I know this will be wow. amazing. Wow. Amazing. Look at we're almost dressed. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's in the universe. Well, where do you live now? I live in um, my, um, old, old Torrance. With your boyfriend? No, Bruce is a block from here. Bruce still lives in his house. We don't live together. That's how it works. I think I heard something about this. Yeah. He lives by, well, he, we broke up for a while. He dated another girl, Gail, for about five years. And I just went my way. He went his way. And then that didn't work out. So he started calling me again. And here we are. Here. So, anyway. We could get together. Yeah. There you go. I, in fact, that's where it just came from, Bruce. Well, she's coming yeah. back to Monday. Yeah. So, um, uh, and then the next Monday, right. and the next. I, I think I'll come every Monday. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Linda. Great. Have a good one. See ya. I, uh, huh? Tell me your name again. Kimberly. Kimberly. Okay. So I didn't. I don't think I knew that. We, I just figured out I knew you, but I didn't know your name was Kimberly. I Maybe you Bruce's said Kim, name. You should be. You won't remember that. So. Kimberly, they yeah. remember Kimberly more. Good. There you go. Okay. So send that picture. It'll be interesting. Okay. Well, I'll send you it to Chris. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks. Uh, well, I'll send it to you. Oh. Okay.